What we have to do is come back to and focus on our mindset. Because when we focus on our mindset, then everything else can change. But if we just try to passively go through our day and say, okay, I hope it's going to get better, it doesn't get better. Because you still have the same mindset. And you just keep reverting back to the same negative mindset loop. Like if you're having stress, anxiety, the feeling of being overwhelmed in your life, whether it's from pain, emotional pain, or physical pain, you have the ability to get past it. It doesn't mean that tough things don't happen to people all, all the time. They have, it's unfortunately, life is hard, right? Tough things happen to us all the time. But it doesn't mean we have to have them destroy us. And it doesn't mean that we can't adapt and overcome and be flexible and figure out how to get past them. So let's look at the mindset and why this makes such a big difference. So a mindset is a way of thinking or a set of beliefs that determines our outlook and our actions. So it's what, it starts with your thinking. It starts with your thoughts and beliefs about yourself. I talk about having a positive, proactive mindset. So it's not just being passive. You are actively deciding to have a positive mindset. Now, is that always easy? Like when you're stressed, and if somebody says, just have a positive attitude, does that work? Absolutely not. Now, a proactive mindset is approaching life with a constructive, positive attitude. So again, that's just not Mark saying, be happy, everything will be rosy and sunshine, and you know, because Mark said, be happy, okay, I'll be happy. Well, that's just a bunch of bull, right? Being, saying that and being like almost like toxic, they'll say that's called toxic posit positivity. That's like looking at the garden and saying, there are no weeds. So that would be like looking at my garden and being there would be weeds this high, but I'm going to ignore them because Mark said everything's okay. And that would just choke out my garden, right? And choke out my vegetables. Having a positive, constructive attitude is looking at the garden and saying, yes, there are weeds. Now what am I going to do about it? And so, okay, there are weeds in my life, right? What am I going to do about it? How can I plan to get rid of those weeds to make my garden grow or not choke it out? And the same thing goes for life. But it's being constructive about it. Because most people, a lot of times, if they're in a negative mindset loop and they're so past beyond listening to anything that makes sense, they're not ready to hear this. And they think that you're being toxically positive. But it's not. It's actually being constructive, positive attitude. It's living life on purpose by taking actions on your goals. And taking actions on your goals. You have to have goals to take action on your goals. Right? If you don't have any goals, that's living life passively. And very often, if you said, oh, you know, what are your goals? Well, I want to lose weight. Well, how much weight do you want to lose? When do you want to lose it by? I just want to lose weight. Or I want to go on a vacation next year. Well, where do you want to go? Well, I don't know. I'd, probably the Caribbean. And uh, when are you going to go? Oh, I don't know. Probably in the spring. What happens when somebody says, oh, I'd really love to go to the Caribbean? And they just say that. At the end of the year, they're saying the same thing. They're saying, oh, I really wish I went to the Caribbean. I think I, I'd like to go to the Caribbean next year. And they don't do it. And it could be five years. And you know when they finally go to the Caribbean? When they said, enough is enough. I'm signing up. I'm buying the flights right now for April 14th on, you know, 2024. And before you know it, they're in the Caribbean. But it was only because they decided to do it and they set a goal and they acted on it. But until you do that, it doesn't happen. And you just stay in the same lo loop. Having gratitude and appreciation for what you have, who you love, and who loves you. This is, again, my positive, proactive mindset. Very often, we don't have appreciation and gratitude for the things that we have. We only see the negative aspects of what we're going, what we're going through. And you don't say, look at this great friend I have. Look at this wonderful wife I have. Look at these awesome kids I have. Look at the job. I have a job. Do you know how many people don't have a job? How many people wake up and they can't walk, or they can't eat, or they can't do whatever? Just being grateful for the things that we have because a lot of times we don't realize what we have because we're too worried having a negative mindset and allows your mind to focus on the present. Now, this is a whole nother principle that we could do, but being present for myself, just a short thing on that, being present in the moment is probably what got me past my chronic pain more than anything else. And it was the aha moment that I was not in the present. Have you ever, when they say somebody is present, it's because they have presence. They're right there in front of you. They're nowhere else but listening to you. They're in the moment. 
Have you ever listened to somebody who's not listening to you? Or like had a conversation with it? And they're like, you know they're everywhere but with you. Because usually they're stressed out and they're worried about what they have to do after they're with you, what they happened to them before they saw you, and they're anywhere but the present. Their presence is being stole by the past and the future. Past traumas and future worries. For me, my past trauma was what? My accident. So I had a reason for all this pain that I had. And so my mind was stuck 27 years ago. Luckily, it was only stuck up till about eight years after the accident. But I gave myself permission to what? Let go of the accident. It doesn't mean that it didn't happen. I actually use it for strength now. But I let go of the accident. And once I did that, that was like my body saying, my mind saying, okay, that happened to me, but now I'm getting past it. Because otherwise, you're always stuck where that traumatic event is. And it can be other traumatic events like divorce or trauma in your family or whatever it is. Oh, Mark, it's, it's all been different since my knee replacement. I've never been the same since. And they blame it on the knee replacement, even though the knee replacement went okay. But they, in their mind, said it's always been that fateful day. It's, you know, it's, it's all never been the same since. And they're latched onto that. Their mind is stuck back at that tra traumatic event. And then they're worried about a future that may have what? Chronic pain or stress or anxiety or overwhelm. But then we can bring ourselves back to the present by letting go of the past and setting goals for the future.